keeping the First Amendment alive. We are Fairfax County's cable access and internet radio station. Peace, peace. This is DJ Olo coming to you live from Radio Fairfax here in Fairfax, VA. You tune into On Beat with Olo. Don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. This is a criminal beat right here. Oh, my goodness. There you go. (laughs) Sounds like a felony in progress. (laughs) (laughs) Live beats by Unknown and DJ Rags. You just saw the Rags and Unknown set, man. And uh, like you were saying, before the set, you guys are just going to freak it. Just freestyle it. That's just like some some, uh, basement type stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh-huh. there's a little segment in there that was, you know, like a routine piece. But, uh, you know, when, when Un plays the NPC and we're hanging out, I usually jump on the turntables. Word. So it was just kind of like this thing that we normally do. So it's yeah, like that was practice, a, uh, practice, That practicing. was an ill set, man. I mean, I, it, it didn't seem like you guys were just practicing, man. <laughs> that was, uh, it seemed like it was... Um, Something you guys been doing for a long time, like Appreciate on stage, that. you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> felonious, felonious music, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Right. Yeah, it is this beat, man. Yeah, it don't make yeah. you do that. It don't make you do that. It makes you want to go to the to the shooting range, man. That's right. <laughs> Pull out the big guns. It's, yeah, the key word totally. in all this is texture, man. You know what I'm saying? Totally. And your, your sampling, your techniques here, you know what I'm saying? It's yielding yeah. that. Yeah, that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. gotta have it, baby. That's, that's, up, man. that's, you. that's what keeps hip hop going. You know, that's why our lane is still alive. You know what I mean? And it's crazy that you're producing this sound off the MPC 1000. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is considered the baby of the MPCs. Exactly. A lot of people don't like this one. But, yeah. like, for me, I think it's a. I liked it. I used to have yeah, that. I, it had, like it came with the blue face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then uh, a lot of times, like, I'll always. I do a lot of performance pieces. So, yeah. like, uh, since it's great I'm on for on the go. That, yeah, yeah, it's on the go. It's in the bag real quick. And I try to just do. Like, a lot of people, like, make a beat, then they put it in the computer and they, like, make it better. I make it. Raw. As good as it can. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Out of this, you know. And then you take it into Pro Tools or something and master it. You know what? Let me hold on, hold on. Before we even get into all that, man. <laughs> how do you get to this beat? Like, do you sample off of vinyl? Do you sample CDs? Do you go um, look for MP3s? Uh, I'm definitely a vinyl head. Okay. I got a, a, a serious collection. Um, I'm not opposed to sampling other sources um but i'm mostly vinyl you know i i came up in that golden rule era yeah, yeah, yeah. so every once in a while now with so much out there you break one of the few of the golden rules here and there but i like it when it's just a straight up record because yeah, again absolutely. like you said like coming through that mixer yeah, yeah, yeah you know exactly, with those yeah. eqs on the fly and all that yeah. stuff that's much different than just an mp3 well see a lot of kids don't realize that when they get the mp3 version somebody's actually already eq'd it and right. recorded it to their likings you know what i'm saying so it's not they made it theirs they made that recording theirs exactly. so it's not always the it's easy yeah it's easy to find something online and get the mp3 but it's not always the best way to do it yeah yeah that's like the ill thing from the mp3 because <clears throat> taking that into consideration you just be getting something less the next time you know what I mean yeah. the more you take from it the more it's getting taken away from exactly. so, yeah, floating yeah, around, so that heart true. is just left out a little more another yeah, thing start. that's funny about kids and I'm sure you guys know about this too they take an mp3 and like with this doesn't that doesn't play mp3s right it only plays uh-huh. wave files right exactly. so they'll take an mp3 convert it into a wave I right. think that's okay. They don't, yeah, they don't yeah, realize, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I think like, it just, just decompresses it. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like they don't realize, man. Like that's they don't crazy. they don't realize these things, man. Plus, but, I um, mean, not to harp on the same subject, the texture, but people don't realize like a lot of the things that made tracks good were the in-between moments. Like when yeah. you need to sample a record, that means you need to leave your house yeah. and go to the record store. And you spend time in that record store yeah. and maybe you buy a couple, maybe you five finger deal a couple and <laughs> what happened say, <laughs> stuff like that, man. what happened that day shapes the song that, yeah. you, that you come back to that night and a lot of kids now forget the journey they sit in front of the computer everything's there they never go outside <laughs> you and, <laughs> yeah you, you never shape the music you never you have must to have, have been uh, yeah, buying records off. from gadget <laughs> <laughs> five finger discount oh, huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like hard to find a record store these days, man. Yeah, it's, it's like on the last, comeback though. It's, it's on, on comeback. the comeback. It's on the rise. The only one yeah. really around here is what the Fye. If you can find one of those, that sells wax. Nah, they don't uh, sell no wax. No, though, no, 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 no. You just uh, mean like a Tower Records type store. Yeah, right? just like, a record store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sell CDs uh, and whatever. A music store. Yeah, like, a music <laughs> store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, now back in the day we had Sam Goodies, Waxy Maxies. Yeah, exactly. All that. Now it's like 
I Yo, mean, the, the day tower closed to uh, hurt my heart. I was like, yeah. oh. Well, you know who's got a record shop is uh, Count Fifth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know what it's called, but... Uh, I don't know if it's Royal Crown or not. I, I DJ their um, store opener. It's oh, yeah. uh, Records and Rarities. R- Records, Records and yep. Rarities, exactly. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's in Manassas. Yes. yes. You know why it's they open awesome Manassas? Shop. I don't. It's but it's it's a it's an awesome shop because Count has a, a lot of his collection in there. Oh wow. Uh, so oh, when I did the so opening, cool. I was like, hmm, if you guys ever want me to DJ in return, I'll do store credit because oh, the vinyl yeah, is yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. That's what's real up, nice. Man. Good spot. I got to check it out, man. Yes. He invited us to come out actually too, man. Yeah, yeah he's a good yeah, dude. Yeah. He's a good dude. And uh, I didn't even go, man. But that's what's up, man. I'm gonna take another break. Let's get into the other track. Let's go back to Studio B because we don't have much time, man. Um, I want to do. You're gonna do a solo joint. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little performance piece. All right, and this like is a just DMC style. Type oh, okay, thing. cool. Yeah. DJ set. Yeah, DJ set. All right, yeah. that's what's up, man. Let's go back into Studio B, and then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. I was about to drop the S bomb for real this time because I was about to say we'll come back and talk some S. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, we'll wrap it up, man. Get the plugins in. Um, when we get back, I want to ask you a few questions, man. I didn't get to really ask questions I want to ask you guys. And there's a few questions I want to ask you and unknown. Awesome. Cool, man. This is On Beat with Olo. We're going to Studio B. Live set by DJ Rags. We'll be right back. Peace. Keeping the First Amendment alive. We are at Fairfax County's cable access and internet radio station. My advice is to you, think, 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 Get 
live as it gets. Trust me, I'm as live as as live as it gets. Trust me, I'm as live as live as Trust me, I'm as live as as live as it gets. Even my own fans like, oh man, stop. I could if I would, but I can't. I'm hot. Keeping the First Amendment alive, we are Fairfax County's cable access and internet radio station. Peace, peace. This is DJ Olo coming to you live from Radio Fairfax. Here in Fairfax, VA. Live beats by Unknown. I thought we were going to come back in on a rags joint since we just came back from the studio, but I guess you're tired <laughs> from that set, man. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Well, and a... also Unknown's beats, man. I, just, I could listen to them all day. Yeah. This guy's tough. Definitely. It's crazy. No doubt. So um, roller skating John right there. Man. Yeah. yeah. In that pocket right there. You ride in on that joint. get up and dance. <laughs> So, I noticed, man, during your DJ set, I noticed that you uh, that you flipped the the Native Instruments uh, mixer that you have. Yes. And you you refaced it, right? Yeah, yeah. And you put your name on that joint. Exactly. And exactly. during the segment, you were saying that you actually DJ with DJ Cubert. Yeah, I did. A, I did a show with him. Uh, he came to he came to Baltimore, so I had to pick him up from the airport oh, that's at what's Dulles, up, man. and then we drove down to Baltimore together. And uh, that was that was an incredible. So you got experience. to kick it with him. You got to drop. Got to him really around. kick yeah, it with man. him. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a complete He's like honor. the Godfather of scratching. Man. Yeah, it's like there's there's no better. Like if I could pick one DJ to hang out with, that that definitely would have been it. You know, so it was cool. Great experience. That's what's up. Man. He's a great guy too. And I wanted to ask you about DJing a little bit, man. We didn't really get to. I think I'm gonna have to have you come back, man, because there's a lot yeah, of questions absolutely. that I get to ask. But absolutely. I wanted to ask you about the uh, the DMC. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about why. I know you're originally from California. Yes. Right. Yes. And so why did you come to VA? Why would you leave yeah. the Mecca? You know what I'm saying? Well, so when um, when I was 19, I joined the military, oh, okay. and so I was overseas, and then I came back and I started working at the Pentagon, mm. and then once I got out of the military, I left, and and uh, I went back to California, and then uh, I was actually missing it here, and uh, I was like, you know what, I got to come back, so I came back, and I've, I've moved back and forth from Cali to, to the D.C. area uh, quite a few times, but um, I'm, I'm here for good. Uh, I love this area. I, I mean, I know weather-wise, you know, you look at weather California. Weather-wise, it's like night and day, uh, man. Yeah, yeah. But the, but the connections I have here, the friendships I have here, it just can't be replaced. What do they say about the West Coast? It's the three W's: weed, women, and weather. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it yeah, it's it's um it's a lovely place. I still have family out there. Yeah, but you know I have a daughter here too. Where that's what's uh, up, so, respect, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Maybe maybe when she gets eighteen or something, maybe I might revisit uh, going somewhere. But I, I think I'm here. I think that's this what's is up, my man. home. I love it here. And being that you're here, you uh you give back to the community a lot. I know that you uh. That you work, I don't know if you if it's a volunteer thing or if you get paid, but I know you work at the uh, the beat refinery. Yeah, so yeah, so I mean we we do get paid to to be there, but it's great because um, Styles, Chris, and Geo uh, hired me on, and they wanted to just teach people the right way to DJ, look yeah. into certain things. So we have a curriculum that we study, and then we can add in our own flavors and influences, but. You know, we're showing people how to do things on turntables. That's what's you up. Know? And, and a lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll come in and say, I'm going to be your worst nightmare today. I'm going to come in and you're going to mix with real records. And I'll bring in a crate. <laughs> yeah. and Because I, I don't want them to just look at the computer screen yeah. to match up snares. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah, them yeah. to hear it. I want them to feel music. You know, now so, with, with Tractor, you don't have to even match anything up because you could just sync it, man. You yeah, just use the sync button. Now. Yeah, if you could just take that button out, yeah. it just takes away all creativity. Uh, I, how you come in on a track, scratch it in, fade it out. You know, if you hit that sync button, it's you're just a programmer at that point. You're not even really adding your artistic flavor. You know what? Yeah, Another thing in Chuo, it's cool to have mistakes in your set. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. sometimes you just want to have that mistake, like. I've never, life. I've never had a perfect set. So it took me a long time to be comfortable with having a mistake and just looking up and smiling. I mean, people want to be on your side for the most part when you're doing a show. People want you to do good genuinely. So if you have a mistake here and there, but you've proven yourself through the whole night, it's good. Yeah, you're yeah, human. Exactly. You should, that, I mean, should have a mistake. It, the proof is right there that you're doing the work. That's yeah. the main thing right yes. there. 
Yes. You know, it take a slip or anything. You know what I'm saying? Look how hard he's working to get it done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you seriously put work in on your solo set. It's a perfect example. You know what I'm saying? You would, you might, especially you, you'd be like, man, you know, I didn't hit this, I didn't hit that. Right. For us, it's perfect. Right. For you, right? It's right. never quite yeah. exactly. Never. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you're your worst. Uh, I'm about critic. to say your worst enemy. You're your worst critic. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. You're yourself. Yeah. Um, one other thing I want to ask you, man. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about oh, you uh, the Diamond District joint. You yes, got, you did cuts on Bo Jenkins EP. I did Bo Jenkins, Mr. Motormouth Part Two. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you know what? If you could send me that JPEG, or if you tell him to send me the JPEG, I'll plug it in the video too. Man. Oh yeah, that'd be yeah. sweet. Yeah, I'll definitely get um, that to you. That joint, uh, In a Loop Records, and then you also did uh, the joint for Diamond District. Yes. They came back together yes. and put out a new, is it a new EP or is it an album? It's an album, and it okay. was the lead single that they used. I had no idea that they were going to actually use that. Yeah. I, I sent the cuts to Odyssey, uh, you know, definitely like, you know, gave me a call, thanked me so much, and I, I didn't know if he was going to change the cuts or move them around, but he left them straight up as, you know, as I laid them down on the track. And so when I saw it come through, I saw Mellow Music. I, he didn't even tell me that that was going to be the lead single. I just saw the email from Mellow Music. And I was like, I think that's the song that I was on. <laughs> yeah, and so then I went up. to SoundCloud and I just I just kind of sat there for a minute. I, I was at work. I do accounting in the day. I had to actually go out of my office and just walk around for about 15 minutes just to soak it all in. It yeah. was just wild to me. You That's know. what's up, man. Huge honor. Speaking of Odyssey, man, unknown. Word. So you were on the tour with Odyssey. Yeah. You guys have a group together. Yeah, actually, um, the group is a good company. It's a band. We're the band that's the uh, backing band for Odyssey's live show, okay. basically. So he does uh, plenty of dates, you know, on his own. And then um, then he does a lot of dates with us as the band. We've been uh And so you play live instruments years. as well? I do. I, I mean, I play the MPC live. Oh, okay, so okay. In, in that setting, we recreate his tracks. There's uh, drums, bass, keyboard, guitar uh, for the guys sing, and then the sample element and everything that those instruments can't play, I play on the MPC. Oh, and you use this specific MPC? This specific That's one. what's up, man. Yeah, yeah that's and, cool, uh, man. So, I'm so just, this is your baby right here. This, this is your boo-boo. Is this thing is taking me around the world since <laughs> yeah, man. for years now. Yeah, that's yeah, what's up, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, I like this better than the new joint. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. The, um, the all digital, what's it called? The Renaissance? Yeah, Renaissance. Renaissance, yeah. yeah I, I, like had a, I had a, a, an encounter with the Renaissance that was cool, but I think it was because the studio environment I was in was like a starship, mm -hmm. so everything around me was great, so I yeah, was just yeah, yeah. freaking out. But um, yeah, I mean, again, all these new machines are so tethered to the computer that for a person that comes up not being like that, it's still kind of a tough transition. Yeah, sometimes, exactly, you know? yeah. I was freaking the the uh, the Renaissance at, at Nam. You know ah, okay. what I'm saying? Right. And I told the dude, I was like, yo, I love it, but you know, it would be awesome if this was an analog piece. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's just too much stuff that you gotta do to it's like like you were saying, man, you know, like when you're making a beat, you just wanna vibe out. But if you gotta do this and do that and get back on a computer and do that, mm -hmm. it's too much, man. Like you lose your vibe, man. Totally. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The vibe is a totally. whole thing. Like I'm hearing it right here. Turn that up a little bit. That, that's some <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what's that. up, man. That's and you know, after the show, we're definitely going to talk about a beat conductor segment. We're going to talk sure. about the beat conductor's battle. Sure. Um, I'm with you know, this is the year to get into it, man. This is yeah. this is going to be the one, man. Definitely. Uh, we have a lot of heavy hitters. Theory's going to be in it. Nice. I'm already. Yeah. Theory. Man. All um, right. I got to start practicing now. <laughs> Theory's going to be in it. <laughs> and I really, I appreciate you oh, saying man. that, especially <laughs> in light of what you're doing in front of me right now with the NPC. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's, it's how it is, man. It's carbon steel. Steel on carbon steel, you yeah, know what I'm is. saying? <laughs> Sparks flying and and people get sharper. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? Exactly. And that, that's what we well that's what it's all about. It's all well right. now, cool. now, who signed to Mellow Music? Well, actually, technically, nobody signed to Mellow Music. Mellow Music doesn't sign artists; uh -huh. they just sign projects. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, various artists that come into their lane and and start doing stuff, uh, you know, if they like it, they go on for projects at a time so know, they're like small contracts uh, like yeah. one album contracts exactly okay how, that's how does one uh, they just have to find you is that pretty much it i think it works like uh you know like everybody else uh, um you just have to present a good product to a label and if they dig it 
you know, there it is. I, but I it's can't, but I can't mellow, really say it. Mellow anything. is mysterious. <laughs> it's like, submit to whom? Yeah. <laughs> right, you have to know right. someone. They, they, they exist. Right, right. Yes, they exist in the ether. <laughs> but it's but it's something amazing, man. From the very beginning, you know, it was just mm-hmm. something to watch grow. I yeah, constantly right. get my emails, constantly signing people, and music with texture. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I appreciate yeah, that sure. movement, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, that's for what's sure. up, man. Unfortunately, our time is up. Um, I got so many questions for you guys, man. You know, I have to invite you to come back another out. Another show. Uh, yeah, yeah, another all show. Day. Yeah, all day, man. yeah, definitely, man. Um, but I'm I glad that give... we got to be on here with Theory, though. I'm yeah, yeah. Theory cool, fella. I appreciate yeah. that, brother. Yeah. 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 Hey, Theory be here every week. Theory better. They're here every week. Nice. Um, nice. Uh, who else is, uh, is usually here? Natural E's usually here. Yeah, we have right. some TRN. MCs. Yeah, mm-hmm. TRN. It's always um, a good vibe, man. Sometimes Oak can get a little heavy, but <laughs> yeah, I try to keep it balanced, man. Cause yeah, some some shows balance. get like uh, a little out of hand, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I want to thank everyone for coming out again, man. Thank, thank you for you. the live set; thank it you. was dope. And uh, I'll see you guys again, man. I'm gonna have everyone come back. Sounds and do great. Another set, man. This is on beat with Olo. We're out. Peace. Keeping the First Amendment alive. We are Fairfax County's cable access and internet radio station.